Hi, this is Craig from Market XLS, and in this video, I'll give you a demo on Market XLS and specifically cover some of the options related functionality. Market XLS is specifically made to help investment research workflow for options traders. So, once you install Market XLS, you will see this new menu which will show up in your Excel, and it adds all these menu items in your Excel. It also adds hundreds of new custom functions in your Excel, which are all about stocks. So when you click on Search and Help, you will see the list of all the functions it has now added into your Excel. When you click on a specific line item, you will see the function name, the description, and also an example. These functions range from various categories like analytical functions, dividend-related functions, estimates related functions, historical fundamentals, key ratios, pricing and pricing history, and so on and so forth. So these functions, you can simply click on a line item and see how does a function work with an example. You can copy and paste each function and put them in Excel to immediately start using them. Just to give you an example, let's say you have a few stocks in some cells and then you can use this function called equal sign last to get the last price on these stocks. You can use the function called equal sign ask to get the ask price on these stocks. You can also use the function called qm underscore stream underscore last to get the real-time streaming prices on these stocks. And of course you can use various other functions like streaming asks, streaming bid, and many other functions like change volume to get the real-time prices directly from the market. You can also use these functions to go back in history and find out what was the price of a stock, let's say 30 days ago. So this function will get you the price of the stock 30 days ago. You can click on these stocks and click on one year close to get the close prices on these stocks. You can also click on Custom Dates and click on Get Data to get the open, high, low, close, volume, historical pricing for these stocks. To get an option chain for the stock, you simply use this function called QM underscore Get Option Chain. And then you can get various types of option chains, like active options, in the money options, at the money options, and so on. In this case, we'll get the active options for Microsoft. So now that you see it has got all options contracts for Microsoft that are active, now that we have these individual option contracts, we can use the same functions that we used for the stocks and get the prices on these individual option contracts. We also have a function which is called option symbol. Now this function will get you the option contract symbol. And to do that, you will give it the symbol, the expiry date, if it is a call or a put, and the strike price. So let's give it a stock symbol. And we'll give it the expiry date. We'll say that this is a call and we'll give it a strike price. So now, as you can see, it has given you the option contract symbol. Once you have this option contract symbol, you can simply start using the functions that we used earlier to get all sorts of information about this specific option contract. You can also use Market XLS option figuring functions to figure out the specific type of option contracts you're looking to analyze. For example, in this case, let's say you're looking to get all the option contracts of Tesla, which are expiring between a specific date and another date, which have a strike price of a minimum and a maximum. So once you have this kind of a setup with the market XLS functions, you can of course change your stock symbol 
and refresh this function to get the option contracts that meet your specific criteria. You can also use our functions like QM underscore get history to get the historical pricing on individual option contracts and not only the daily historical prices, but also you can use our intraday functions, which are QM get intraday history 15 minutes, just for an example, which will get you the 15 minutes bars of movement of price and volume of a specific option contract, and it can go back through the life of the contract. You can also get the real-time Greeks on individual option contracts by using functions like umStreamDelta and umStreamGamma, and these functions can get you the Greeks for individual contracts. With MarketXLS functions, you can set up your own sheets like this, where you are tracking option contracts real-time. We also have a built-in option scanner, where if you would select a few stocks and click on Utilities and Option Scanner, it will load all option contracts into this kind of a form, where you can choose a specific expiry date, and also you can choose if you are looking for calls or puts, you can click on this checkbox to remove all the zero volume contracts. You can also say I'm only looking for top 10 open interest contracts. And now, once you have these contracts figured out, you can click this button, send these to Excel, to send the contracts into Excel. Once you have these contracts into Excel, you can again use the same functions that we discussed earlier to stream real-time prices on these individual contracts. What I've shown you in this video are some of the very few functionalities which are specific to options in MarketXLS. I welcome you to try out the product, and I'm sure you'll really like it. And we're looking forward to serving you as a customer. Thank you very much for your time.